Hello everyone, my name is David Arroyo and in this video I will be discussing the non-comics related stuff that I do. So uh, most of you that do follow me on this channel will know that I do a lot of comic book stuff. Uh, I love making comics, I love writing stories for comics and I do that all the time. But I also do storyboards and concept art for film. And you know that I don't get to show as much in this channel because I often can't uh, or because you know trailers aren't out yet. Uh, so I have to wait, but the fact that I'm showing you this video today means that some trailers have finally dropped and that's uh, exactly what I'm wanting to share with you today. So I'm not going to show you the trailers within this video, I'm just going to link uh, towards them so that you can watch the trailers by yourself, but uh, I will provide you a little bit of information on each project that I've worked recently and uh, I'm extremely proud of them. So uh, let's get started and let's get the show on the road. All right, so these are the four projects that I want to be discussing today. The Disney Channel project, I can say very, very little. It's obviously Disney, so the only thing that has been made public, or at least is uh, available to the public right now, is that it's a TV series called Fast Lane uh, that will be on the Disney Channel. It's directed by Ashraf Asdulul. And, uh, you know, I have done some storyboarding on that, so I'm extremely proud of it, and that's all I can say for now. Now, I'll be focusing on Corbin Nash, on Prospect, and specifically on The Beyond, because I can actually show examples from The Beyond, and that's because The Beyond is the only project on this screen that's actually out there yet. So uh, the rest is coming out soon. So let's have a quick look at Corbin Nash first. So this one will be out uh, on April 20th, I believe, in the US and Canada. Uh, you'll be able to view it in theaters and on iTunes, so you can already uh, pre-order. Again, all the links are in the description below. Awesome project to work on, my favorite feature film that I've worked on so far. And that has a lot to do because the director, Ben Jagger, the guy with his glasses there, awesome guy. He, he's not someone that you work for, but someone that you work with. It's absolutely amazing. And, you know, I felt I, I never felt so part of a project as with Corbin Nash. Not only do they have an amazing cast and is his brother, Dean Jagger, awesome, but it's a movie that you really have to see. Okay, then there's Prospect. Now, Prospect is directed by Zeke Earl and Chris Caldwell, uh, the two gentlemen on The Last Image. Very talented people and great storytellers. I really loved working on this project. Uh, I really fell in love with the script as soon as I saw it. Now, all of this you have to think about. This is going way back to, I think, 2016. Uh, just like Corbin Nash. Corbin Nash was also in 2016. Now for Prospect, I did some presentation storyboards. So this was way before the actual filming starts. Uh, so it's not the same as shooting boards. These are a little bit more detailed and unfortunately I can't show them yet. But the project is awesome. It has a really good cast. The story is amazing. I strongly recommend you have a look at the trailer at the end of this video. Okay, and then there is The Beyond. Now, this is the project that I'm going to be discussing the most in this video because I can actually show stuff from it. So, for The Beyond, I did concept art and a tiny little bit of storyboarding. Now, mind you, this was in 2014, okay? At the time, The Beyond wasn't even called The Beyond yet. It was called Project Kronos. Now, for those of you that know uh, the director or the work of the director, you will know that Project Kronos is a short film that it was also directed by him and is available on Vimeo and I think I've even seen it on YouTube and very good, interesting short film. Now, The Beyond is basically a feature film on that. Now, I'm going to quickly start showing you what my work was on it. So here you can see um, at that point in time, I had to do some storyboards for a shot, like a jump shot basically, uh, that was going to sell a very important scene in the film. Now this scene is no longer in the film. A lot of things have changed. Okay, I also designed this uh, space station, which carried these, um, like, you know, these balls with these, uh, like, rings around them. That's where the Human 2.0 would go into and would shoot through this like long corridor uh, that's attached to the space station, would go into a vortex and kind of go through a wormhole into another part of the universe and stuff. Really cool stuff. Um, and, you know, I was very happy to work on this. Now, unfortunately, none of this made it into the film. Again, the idea of um, the beyond was very different at the early stages from what it eventually became. 
And uh, here you can see how I also gave it a bit of a comics look, you know, like Frank Miller type stuff. I love that stuff. So then obviously I also did some 3D modeling. As a matter of fact, all of this was 3D modeling. I did the rendering. This was done in Maya and then some compositing, Photoshop, you know, just to get the look uh, for the film, um, you know, and to sell the idea to the producers and so forth. So this is, I mean, you have to think this is really early on. Okay, these, these are just some shots that I did uh, that show you like, you know, a particular sequence uh, that would give, you know, that would give the producers an idea of like, okay, what is this going to cost more or less, you know, what can we expect, uh, what is it going to look like, and so forth and so forth. So um, this was all done back in 2014, I mean, this is like four years ago. Uh, oh, and I also did here, you can see the Human 2.0. Uh, these were the very first designs of it and the final design you can see now is very Mass Effect look-alike. I mean at, at least from my opinion. It's awesome. It's not done by me by the way. I wish. No, I after 2014 I no longer worked on the project. Uh, it was picked up by other people and then uh, they finished it off. But that's the beyond. I'm very proud of it. So I would say have a look at the trailer and uh, there you go. And so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. These were uh, the few projects that I wanted to share with you today uh, that I'm very proud of, of course. And uh, for those of you that are curious about the next episode of my journey into making comics, don't worry, I got you back. I'm almost done with it. I'll show you right here. I'm making this page. This is the um, page that I will be discussing. Uh, during the production phase, the next episode, I'll be talking about the, um, you know, the inking, the penciling, the colors. It's almost done. I'm very close to the end of it. I'll also be adding some letters. And um, there you go, you know. So I'm hoping to release that video within a week's time after this. Don't forget to uh, have a look at these trailers. All the links that you'll need are in the descriptions below. And if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe leave a like button, and uh, there you go. Thanks for stopping by, everyone, and see you guys next time.